This uh, we through the spirit man we're gonna come to this uh, video and the, and the title is gonna be uh the sword comes in many forms. Amos nine and ten, our sinners of my people shall die by the sword. We say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is found and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins and will build it as in the days of old that they may possess the raiment of Edom and all the heathen which are called by my name Saint the Lord that doeth this Amos 9 and 10 all sinners of my people shall die by the sword all the sinners of your how about Hashem how shot would die by the sword, man. And that sword comes in many forms, man. And the main form that sword comes in is the scriptures, man. Because you know what I'm saying? The scripture it is the sword, man. And this is what we uh preach and teach through the spirit out of, man. But the, the sword, man, like Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah said he brings out judgment David, man. So the sword can be a, a, a vehicle, man. It could be a gun, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It comes in many forms, man. But but that but one of the main forms that sword gonna come in, man, is uh, uh, those nuclear thermal missiles, man. When the Lord brings judgment on America, man. But within the midst of all those things, man, it's gonna be famine, pestilence, uh, uh, just all kind of chaotic things going on. But those are all types of swords that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is gonna use to bring judgment on America, man. All the uh, uh, his people that have sinned, man. Cause judgment is gonna begin at the house of uh, Judah, man. So like house of Israel. I got Priso going to our uh, this word. Uh, how you mentioned it is the word too. Good. Right, this is uh, Ephesians 6 and 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherein you should be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the most high. Come on, come on, man. And we just had a prime example over there on the front line a minute ago, man. That uh, uh, we had the Jake over here trying to, th trying to throw some darts, man. But the, the scriptures were the shield, man. And it was cutting them left and right, man. Brother was going through the scriptures, man, with anything that he tried to bring about or justify and was cutting them up, man. And uh, like I say, the, the, the scriptures, man, is, is, is the form of a sword, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah uses the brothers, man, that vessel as a sword, man, because he's speaking through us. Hey, and that's how people are going to be judged, man, because, hey, the sword, the main sword is the scriptures, man. Come. Because of the sword of the scriptures, Yahweh Shah is coming back, man. Come. That's how you judge by the word, man. Come, come. Yeah, man, and, and, you know, people, man, get highly upset, really offended, man, when you bring out certain scriptures. You know, it kind of ruffles their feather because it takes them out of a comfort zone, man. And, and, and through the spirit, that's a beautiful thing, man, because you don't supposed to be comfortable, man. The word is supposed to make you uncomfortable, man, because by through fear, we supposed to persuade men, man. You niggas supposed to wake up, repent, and come back to your power, man. Y'all about how shimmy I was shot, man. Get away from these churches. You know what I'm saying? Get away from all these abominable acts. You know what I'm saying? All these packing holidays and everything. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to uh, uh, sway away from that, man. And come back to your power, man. Get into these scriptures, man. Praise Yahweh by Hashem here I was shot, man. Because as far as Jesus, man, that, that's our uh, Caesar Borgia, man, who who is a a, a a a a rapist, a pedophile, and also a sword, man, because all of you out there that's praising this false idol is gonna be a reason for Yahweh by Hashem to destroy you, man. So he's using that false idol as a sword also, man. Come on, bro. And Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Come. And 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 and, and that, that horse, man, is Esau, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Power was given to him, man. And, and uh, what was his power, man? The, the sword, man. On the corner sense, though. You know what I'm saying? And and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. And that sword, man, was uh, guns, you know what I'm saying? The military might, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this high-tech equipment. It's, it's, uh, from, uh, it's from uh, Kia. Gun, gun. Uh, which is pretty much this uh, uh, legal drugs, you know what I'm saying? Gun, gun. Uh, man, his uh, hospitals. Gun. Uh, once you go there, you pretty much get a sentence for death. His abilities to control and uh, implement laws. Yeah. You know? As far as kill trails. Gun, gun. GMOs. Uh, yeah. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, but that's why uh, the scriptures say that his uh, his iniquities have reached the heavens, man. You know what I'm saying? He's constantly doing all this wickedness, man. He's constantly uh, uh, destroying the earth, man. That's, that's another thing he's doing. Esau is destroying the earth, man. And the inhabitants within, the animals, everything that the Most High has created, man, from, from the beast, to the, the trees, plants, insects, creepy crawly things, man, are sighing and crying, man, because this devil is destroying everything, man. Anybody got a precept? Yeah, this is uh, Psalm 17 and 13. It says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So, yeah, 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 yeah. That's saying that the wicked is the sword. He's the sword of the most act. And he, he, you know, he, he the most have make everything happen anyway. It, it, it's all his plan. But he used Esau and all his devices and well, all he got to, you know, chastise the people from going out the previous. Uh. And that's the reason why the lesson through the spirit is called the sword comes in what? Uh, many, many, uh, forms. many forms. Because hey, the scriptures can be a sword. Uh. And Esau is a sword just like the uh. Bible brought out through the spirit man come on, come on. and it's beautiful man because that, that's this that showed you man that you how about how sim you how shy is in control of all things man he plays both sides man you know what I'm saying he's the balance of this world man but at the end of the day man he's gonna raise his people up man he's gonna lift that standard man and we're gonna be back on top man starting with yahweh yahweh shy king david the 12 and on down man yeah. that's, that's, that's part of what you just brought up it's Isaiah 10 and 5. O Assyria, the rod of my anger and the staff of their hand is my indignation. And the modern day Assyrians are the Edomites, man. Read that again, bro. O Assyria, mm -hmm. the rod of my anger mm -hmm. and the staff of their hand is my indignation. Right, so that power has been given to the Edomites by Yahweh Bashem al -Shah. Yeah. It's just that sword from Yahweh Bashem al -Shah on the left hand side. Yeah. 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 I will send him against a hypocritical nation. I will send him. Who is that I? That I ref is, is referring to Yahweh Bashem al -Shah. And who is that hypocritical what? Nation. Hey, the Israelites, man. Why? Because we say things and we don't do things. We say we love the Most High, but in actuality, we're not actually living to, to, to the accord of what we're saying. And against the people of my wrath, will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey? And to trade them down like the mire of the streets. And then in, in, in today's time, what who is that referring to? The two-thirds of our people. Because the elect is gonna be saved. Yeah. That's gonna really start when Jacob's trouble comes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, no, it's in which consists of uh, martial law, race riots, pestilences, famine. Mm -hmm. The RFID chip being implemented is gonna be mandatory for you to take it. If you don't, mm -hmm. they're gonna send you out to a concentration camp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Hey, this is Jeremiah 15 and 3, and I will appoint well, bring it up. No, bring it up. Right. Jeremiah 15 and 3, and I will appoint over them for a kind said the Lord, the sword to slay, uh -huh. and the dogs to eat, so like and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of, of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. Come, bro. And, 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 and these these beasts, these animals, man, they're gonna be out here causing major damage, man. You got you got first you got the animals in the zoo that's gonna be led into the wild, man. I mean not the wild, but within uh this society, man, when all this uh chaos is going on during Jacob's trouble. Yeah. And, and you know, only Lord knows the different type of hybrid animals Esau already got out and about, man. You know what I'm saying? And people are gonna be, you know what I'm saying, of course out their comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? Moving around like pilgrims and everything, man. So you don't know what kind of, uh, uh, what you're going to come encounter with. 
the zoo in a, a prominent uh, black neighborhood, so I was, you know what I'm saying? I was just going out playing about the animals or whatever. They just, they gonna let the zoo animals out, right? Good. But the, the zoo in, in Jackson, Mississippi, is in, it's straight in the middle of the hood, the ghetto, so they gonna let the tigers and the bears out and just destroy, try to destroy Jake. Good. And, and, and to let the judgment start at the house of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. This, okay. this wisdom of Solomon, that one more thing, and then that swords to slave uh, used in, in Ezekiel, that could be two thirds. Come, you know what come. I'm saying? Kill another two thirds. That's right. That could be uh, these uh, foreign troops coming in there. That's right. Basically uh, uh, applying death as well That's as right. the Edomites. That's right. That's right. We got all kinds of mm -hmm. We got all kinds of right. This wisdom of Solomon, 11, and um, started 17. For thy almighty hand that made the world a matter without form, won't it not means to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions or unknown wild beasts mm -hmm. full of rage newly created? Mm -hmm. and, and there you have it, man. Esau, man, we, we already know, man, Esau is, is a sick, sick individual, man. He's splicing all kind of uh, genes, man. He He's creating all kind of animals, man. And, and the scripture's telling you about it, man. So you don't know what you're gonna come encounter with, and if, if you not, you know what I'm saying, if you not in tune with your how about how shim you was shot, man, if, if you're not, you know what I'm saying, living and upholding these law statutes and commandments to the best of your ability, if you don't have faith, man, it's no escape, man. You 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 gonna be destroyed, man. Amos five and fifteen. It said, hate the evil and love the good, and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Keep on going. To the remnant of Joseph. Therefore, the Lord, the God, the God of hosts, the Lord, saint thus dwelling shall be in all streets. And they say, and they shall say in the in all the highways. This is Amos 5 and 19. As if a man dies. Okay. Amos 5 and 18. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a land and a bear met him or went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent beat him. Cunts. Can you imagine that, man? Can you imagine you doing a, a, a sprint trying to get away from a lion, man, and you run across a bear? And you happen to get away from that bear, man, your heart beating, your lungs about to collapse, and you want to lean up against the wall, man, because you you exhausted, man, and, 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 and a snake is there to bite you, man? Can you imagine that, man? But, but that's what's to come, man. There's no escape, man, from the judgment, man. There's no escape, man. If you don't get back in tune with your power, man, you're gonna be destroyed, man. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures speak on how hearts will faint, man. Men are gonna be dropping dead, man, because they just can't can't handle the things that are going on around them, man. The things that you're gonna see, man. The Lord is gonna use your heart, man, for for uh, a sword, man. You're gonna be seeing uh, uh, somebody, you know what I'm saying, eating up somebody's face, man, and you're gonna, you're gonna die. Your heart ain't gonna be able to take it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy out here. The scripture says it's gonna be a time as never before since the earth since the earth existed. For, in a nutshell, man, roughly paraphrasing, man. You know what I'm saying? So you know you better be prepared, man. It's a lot of swords, man. And your high by shot, man. He gonna let them all swing, man. Hey, what the brothers just brought out that uh, Amos five. That pretty much remind you of that movie, um, Final Destination, man. Gun, Every gun, time they got gun. away with everything, they still met with death. Right, mm -hmm. right. So that's really that, that really pursues with the two thirds of the nation of Israel and the other nations, man. Because really, two thirds of the nation of Israel, they really fit on their umbrella that they uh that value the shadow of death, man. Gun, yeah, you know? gun. It's living in America like mm -hmm. this. Gun, like them scriptures, like you running, putting your hand running from a bear. You duck the police, he ain't shoot you. 
and then you go down the street and some yeah. more shit happen. You got it. You got it. Some more shit coming for you. You know what I'm saying? Though Come. It, it's like kind of go from both ways. You know what I mean? And that goes back to that scripture, man. That you know what I'm saying? You will have no assurance of life, man. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You. You in the valley of the shadow of death, partner. So this war is the only thing that really gonna keep this war. The already lost that command in these scriptures. That's the sword that you need to try to Come. hold on to, get close to. That's right. That's the sword that's gonna save your life. That's they, right, they man. Kill all the that's out here that they that, 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 that they think they control with, with the most high. He control this side too. Come. This is our shield of faith, man. Our breastplate, man. This is Isaiah thirty-four and five. For my sword should be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judge me. Break it down. Yeah, and that sword is uh, ultimately it's that nuclear missile, man. Mm-hmm. It says it's going to be bathed in heaven. Probably it's going to come out of the atmosphere. That's why they call it ICBL, intercontinental ballistic missile. Ballistic missile is going to come from another continent. It's going to go across to another continent. And it's your destination. It says it should be bathed in heaven. And behold, it should come down upon Idumia, and that's pretty much the Greek way to say Edom, you know? Come, you know, come. Let's talk about the so-called Caucasians today. Come. And it says, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. You know, it's the people of the Most High's curse, man, the Edomites. Come. So that's another part of the sword, that, that nuclear missile. Like the other Apostle Gabar would say, that's really that cherry on top, right? Come, come. Anybody got anything you want to add? Um, yeah, Psalms 149 and 6. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. That's Come. It's talking about the kingdom, man. Come. Those are the elect man that get out the beds and be praising how about you they're gonna be singing and things that such. We're gonna have a two-edged sword in their hand. Come. Mm-hmm. Come. Yeah, right now we can apply this time, or we can apply the word Come. like the brother was saying, mm-hmm. you know. You know, because the high praises is what? It's speaking the word, man. That's right. And it's a two edged sword, meaning that basically you can use it on somebody and it also can be used on yourself. That's right. That's you right. Know? It's in your hand. Mm-hmm. Come on, bro. Like, you got a free day one bring up? Yeah, you're going to do that again. Legendary. 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 Bring it up. Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword. Mm-hmm. Piercing, good. The word of the Most High is quick and powerful. Like when you deal with stalkers, you know, if you trying to battle, they'll be like, oh, what's your opinion? Things that such. You don't go by your opinion, you go by the words of the Most High, man, which is uh, the Holy Bible. It says, for the. For the Go back to it. Hebrews 4 and 12. Right. It says, For the word of most eyes quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of the sun of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discern of the thoughts and the tits of the heart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Two edged sword, yeah, it can cut you, and it can cut the person that's trying to come against you. Man. Guns, guns. And, 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 and we. Through the spirit of how about Hashem Yahushua, man, coming out here on the highways and byways, man, pushing his word, man. The, the the ones that really need to cut, man, they feeling it, man. And that's the elite, man. Because they, they know the doctrines are true, man. And they, they know their faith is destruction and slavery, man. And that's why they gonna uh they preparing to come down on uh, uh the, the the true men of the Lord, man. And even these uh, uh false prophets, man. Anybody that's that's uh actually preaching anything other than the the uh false doctrines of christianity man they they gonna come down on man but you know what i'm saying but 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 you know that's something that through the spirit man pushing these words man on the highways and byways you know what i'm saying fellowshipping with brothers man and studying man we're being prepared for that man you have a you shot it's molding us and preparing us for that day to come man that shows you how important this word is man because we're not coming at them like a, a black panther movement that's a we ain't coming at them in a corner way. We just using the Bible, man. That's right, man. And that's cutting them, man. That's cutting. So they don't know how to come at us, man. That's why they don't come up with all these different persecutions and lies. Right. Try to portray us on the media, man. Right, right. 
Yeah, that's all he saw the gym, and that's what Jake can understand today. Because he kept saying, like, we was actually going to come up against the government. Right. No, we never said that. Uh, uh, Great Middlestone never said that, okay? Gun. Because basically, we always say that Yahweh Shah is coming back to bring havoc. We, we didn't say we was going to start a militia Gun. and to orchestrate a coup. Gun. We never stated that. Because Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Bashan Yahshua said, vengeance is healed, man. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? We can't do nothing, man, until, you know what I'm saying, prophecies are fulfilled, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we're not going to be going out, you know what I'm saying, physically doing any kind of thing, man. Only thing we're going to do is bring out these scriptures, man, and keep the faith, man, until Yahweh Bashan Yahshua come back and lift that standard, man. Because we're still in the process of fishing, man. Like Gun. it says in Jeremiah 16, 16, before we get turned to those hunters. Man. That's right. Genesis 27 and then um, okay, uh, talking about the sword, he saw the hidden sword. Um, this is Genesis uh, 39. Yeah. Genesis 27, 39. Mm -hmm. And Isaac, his father, answered and said to him, Behold, thy dwelling should be the fatness of the earth. And Isaac is talking to Esau. The fatness of the earth is, hey, that's the reason why you have these Edomites living in these uh, suburban neighborhoods. Right. These nice ass residential um, spots. Right. And also they're able to um, uh, eradicate resources from these other nations, man. Gun. That's Gun. part of the fatness of the earth. That's right. And of the dew of heaven from above, mm -hmm. meaning that he was going to be blessed and wicked, wickedness, man. Oh, yeah. And by the, thy sword should thou live. By, and how, how has Esau lived? By the sword. By, by the sword. Regarding his military might. Mm. And then even when we came up here, to well, actually to this country, man, by the goddamn gun. Gun, gun. How did he take America? Yeah, by gun. the gun, gun. man. Gun. His, his, his military might. That's right. Mm -hmm. He said, and by thy sword shalt thou live, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from out thy neck. Gun, that was the point. So the, the, the topic of this lesson, hey, uh, the sword is in various forms. From It can be utilized as a word. It can be utilized as a milsey. It can also be utilized as people, right. such as a race of people like the Edomites or whoever the Most High want to bring. Like, yo, know, Yahweh Shah is the Most High sword. Man. Gun. Gun. On the right hand side. The chariot. The chariot. Gun. Gun. Hey, you know what? Get Zachariah 5 and 1. Y'all want to get a, a, a piece up about your house out? That's how he's going to come back with a hand. Get Isaiah 63. Go ahead, man. <clears throat> Jeremiah 4 and 7. The lion has come up from his thicket. Hey, your house shot is known as the lion, okay? He's the lion of Judah. And the reference point of that is uh, in the book of Hebrews, okay? All right, what's the thicket? The thicket is uh, the third heaven, also known as the fourth dimension. Go ahead. And the destroyer of the Gentiles. The destroyer of the Gentiles, meaning these Edomites, man, and all these other um, nations that are outside of the nation of Israel. Go ahead. And the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. Mm -hmm. On his way. And what is it, what is he on his way for? To bring havoc, man. Go. Go ahead. He is going forth from his place. So he left the spirit world. Go ahead. To make thy land desolate. To make thy land desolate. Desolate means utterly alone, man. Go. Empty, man. Go ahead. And thy city should be laid waste without in inhabitants. And your house shine is going to be a part of this for to bring that destruction on the right hand side. This is Zechariah chapter 5, mm -hmm. verse 1. Yeah. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked and behold a flying roll. Yeah, Zechariah is actually seeing a um, flying roll. What is that flying roll? It's a chariot, man, because from the sky it looks like a roll. Mm -hmm. And he said unto me, what see is thou? So what did you see? Who is that? The angel is asking him, what did you see? Go ahead. And I answered, I see a flying road. And you see a uh, UFO. Go ahead. But we know from the spirit, it's a chariot. It's the vehicles uh, for the Most High, and the Son, Yahweh Shah, as well as the angels. Man. Gun. The length of it, it's like it. The length thereof is 20 cubits, mm -hmm. and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. So basically he's just giving the size of the chariot or what he's saying. Go ahead. Then said he unto me, mm -hmm. 
This is the curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth. And that's talking about the chariots, man. The reason why you see these chariots, man, because it's a curse for the uh, two thirds of our people and also these other nations for getting with the Edomites. But at the same time, Frank, that within that curse is going to be salvation because that's how the elect is going to be um, um, the, summing up with uh, Shabbat and beamed up. Uh, uh, Can they read? For every one that still it shall be cut off as on the side according to it. And these Edomites have stolen, man. Okay, they stole America, man. Go ahead. And every one that swears shall be cut off and as Edomites swear too, because when you go into their court system, the first thing they do is make you swear to tell the truth when they live in wickedness, man. Right. Yeah. Good. Good. They bring out the scriptures. They ain't right. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 And also furbish. And the reason why this sword is sharp is because what, what do you do with a sharp sword? You utilize it to kill people, to mm -hmm. cut things off, man. So a lot of our people is going to die, man, mm -hmm. as well as these other nations dealing with the Edomites, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is sharper to make a sword slaughter. Mm -hmm. It is furbish that it may glitter. Mm -hmm. Should we then make mirth? Hell no, because we know what that sword is going to do, and that's why we come in the name of Yahweh Hashem our show with fear and trembling. Right? That's right. And that fervor is actually going into calamities and destruction upon destruction. Right. And it's going to bring a lot of death because that's the reason why it's been sharp. That's right. It con contaminated mm -hmm. the ride of my son as every tree, mm -hmm. and he had given it to be fervor, and it may be handled. Mm -hmm. This this sword is sharpened, and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Who is the goddamn slayer? You need the Edomites, okay? So the Edomites are not your friends, and I'm going to join hand in hand, and man, it's going to turn around and stab me in your back. That's right. If you're not, deal, if you're not down with the, the true doctrine of Yahweh Shemar Shah. That's right. Yeah, and another way, how you brought out the slayer, and how he's trying to polish that sword or sharpen it. This new world order, just, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you, try, you try to get everything geared and tech for the new world order. That's mm -hmm. right. We're saying Georgia Gasso uh, maintain human population of 500 million. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. So that's going to lead to that R5D chip, man. Mm -hmm. That's another mm -hmm. part of the story. Mm -hmm. You know, and you that, take that, it's it's like, like, if, if you take that on like on a physical manner, it's going to release all cyanide in your body, man. That's going to kill you right there, cause cancer. Mm -hmm. You take it on a spiritual uh, standpoint, you know, shot, so you're going to come with uh, fire and brimstone. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Lord willing, you brothers are edified. We want to give all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Wadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone that rule well. Shalom. Shalom.